Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD 12.3.6 video. I am uh, on the similar settings. I mentioned to you guys in my last video, changed some of the settings here. So I'm on the average settings right now on my autopilot. And my profile is um, basically for battle is chill, right? Usually I'm on the flat mode, but I've changed in some of the settings just to see uh, how it's gonna drive on the average mode. So right now it's on the average settings and let me just uh, take over because there's a pothole here and FSD obviously cannot see the potholes. So coming back to the question, okay, so we are gonna test uh, some of the things again today um, and we'll see how the FSD is gonna perform. The more I use it, the better I feel it's getting. Uh, some of the things that I've noticed recently, like you know the stop signs, which was taking so much time to move on from, like it's not like the same anymore. Although it's still on the slower side, but uh, it's getting a little bit better. So we are approaching a stop sign. Let's see how FST is going to perform. It's moving right, and. We are a little bit of uh, close to the curb. There are a few cars coming from the left. Uh, let me see. Okay, so as you saw, it didn't take a lot of time on this particular stop sign. Um, we're going another right. Perfect. So this is going from a different way today. I think it's avoiding some of the traffic which basically I hit on the state highway but uh, it's gonna go to the state highway from this road as well because there's only one way to go from here so this is my normal route for my daily you know commute so I I try to test the FSD and see how things have changed in these tests Guys, I really appreciate your feedback and comments too uh, that you provide on these videos. It also gives me new ideas to test uh, some of the new things as well. Uh, so keep it coming and please consider subscribing as well because this is a very small channel and your feedback, your comments, uh, your subscription goes a long way and really helps me and motivates me in making more videos like this. So there are a lot of traffic coming from the left and FST is taking its time which is fine it's gonna move forward when it's safe to do so I'm keeping an eye on the traffic too and it's slowly moving forward perfect this was a perfect turn now we just need to switch lanes which it did as well as you can see We're also going to notice the distance from the car in the front. In this mode, it's uh, supposed to keep like a, you know, relatively medium kind of distance. I was on the assertive mode before, which was not maintaining much of a difference, although there was still good amount of distance between the cars in the front and my car. But in this mode, it's taking, it's pretty much keeping this much of a distance if you can see on the camera. And I try to keep these videos uncut on purpose so that you guys can see what's going on. There are a lot of uh, you know things uh, out there for FSD. Like it's not people thinking uh, there's that's not completely there yet, which I agree to an extent. But it's ha it has come a long way. Like you can definitely use it for your daily use. Uh, you know, uh, if you if you are like driving to work, you know stop and go traffic or like you know going long distance um, this is like a great tool and saves you a lot of what you call mental fatigue I would say but you still have to pay attention you're really gonna enjoy this feature if you are paying attention behind the yoke or the wheel right so that's the key here right this technology is gonna be great as long as you are paying attention 
and like as i mentioned in all of my videos so far i've been making these videos for last five months or six months so far uh that make sure that you're paying your full attention when you're you know driving uh, if you think that you know you're running into a situation where fsd might fail take over immediately right you don't want to take a chance or you know, you know just show that what happened for that particular scenario um you know there are no second chances when you're driving so it's better to be safe than sorry afterwards right so so far i did not run into any close 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 situations i would say but i am always ready to take over the control if needed so be careful out there A lot of varying opinions I see on the comments when I post these videos like some people think it's complete garbage uh, this is not full self driving this is not like working as intended and some of the people think like it has come a long way and I agree with the people uh, who basically are of the view that it has come a long way I again like you know this is supervised full self driving this is not like full self driving I know initially people who are actually uh, against this are of the view that this should be full self driving by now um, I don't know if we have any regulations around that that are passed for full self driving or driverless cars yet in US but at this point I think this is as good as it can get you know especially the price they have for this thing now it's reasonable I would say like uh, again if you don't want to have it long term you can always subscribe for a month or so and then test it out and cancel it and you can cancel at any time in my case when I picked up the car FSD was around twelve thousand dollars and I got the car with enhanced autopilot so when they dropped the price to eight thousand dollar it was a two thousand dollar upgrade which I ended up doing because I use this every day I'm so used to uh, using the FSD I don't think basically any of my drives are without using this so it's a daily kind of uh, thing for me that I'm using right so just want to throw it out there so that you guys also understand where I'm coming from Also, I think I completed around 4,600 something miles on the Model S Plaid. I picked, <coughs> sorry, I picked up this car back in November. Brand new. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. We have to make a right turn but it's in the turn it, it's in the lane which is making a left turn so again i'll keep it uncut and see what happens so i don't know if you can see it from the map it's saying that it should go forward here and then make a right here and that's the lane right there where you see the truck going that's the lane where you have you should be so that you can actually then go further and make a right from the right lane so we are in the wrong lane this this might be like a mistake from the fst but let's see what happens amazing always something new comes up when you drive using the fst so this is the lane that is going left and FSD just bypassed <laughs> and uh, you know basically you could have gotten a ticket I think because you were in the wrong lane and you came from the wrong lane to this right lane a right lane an extreme right lane now so some of the things that again like I'm showing you as the things are happening this is not perfect I never said it's perfect but uh, you know some things which still needs to be improved. In 500 feet, turn left onto Center Boulevard. Now turn left onto Center Boulevard. Okay, 
we have another left coming up okay perfect so I'm in, in New Jersey and the roads here are like really bad <laughs> I don't know why we pay so much taxes here and nobody fixes these roads. That's why, you know, I always talk about FSD should have the pothole detection in it. Otherwise, it's a service that can become unusable or like you're not going to enjoy the experience. Because every now and then you have to take over and basically move your car so it don't hit the pothole. nice drive uh, other than that mistake but you know these are real real uh, time scenarios real life scenarios I want to show it with show it to you guys so that you guys can make your own opinion or judge based on your own uh, you know observation not very close to the curb so that's good Again, this is local driving, you know. But I wonder, like, why it uh, did what it did back, back, back there, when it had a clear, uh, basically, um, area to make them move towards the correct lane. It decided to go or stay in the left lane or the third lane that was turning left. So. You know, I'm gonna go back and see the video again. You know, I can basically probably try to assess what happened, but you know, that definitely would have, uh, if there was a cop behind me, would have resulted in a ticket for sure. Let me know what you guys think about it. What what happened there? Another turn coming up. The oncoming traffic, which is also turning left. Waiting, waiting, and then we are making that call now. Perfect. So, there you have it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of today's video. Uh, I try to keep on making these videos showing you uncut. You know examples of how the FST 12.3.6 which is the latest version so far 12.4 uh, is not out yet I think it's only been given to the employees for Tesla employees for testing but this is where we are right now and this is what we have so far right so let me know your feedback in the comment section down below let me know what you think was this a genuine mistake or is it just my misunderstanding on understanding something <laughs> okay so on that note i'll see you on uh, another video goodbye for now and take care stay safe